So we're at Sitara. It's been a fantastic time here. We've had four nights. Tonight is our last night here. And we're on one of the non-electrified sites. There are five as you come in the boom. They're the first um, on your left. Uh, water taps are very scarce. So you need a very, very long cable here because your water is actually across the road. And when we arrived, we actually had Rusty's bathroom set up and we've been showering with Rusty's uh, bathroom. It's been great, lovely hot showers. But these being non-electrified, we used the gas, the geyser on gas this time. So the one thing that was never ever serviced on Rusty since we've had him is the Hansen geyser. So when we arrived, Rusty's geyser would not light. So it would just go tick, 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 and try and light and nothing. So after attempting many other things, we then stripped it. So to strip it, you have to take this off, the housing off, and then you need a 14 millimeter spanner to release the nut on the gas line, which you then push into the grommet. And then there are two sort of metal plates that you pull out and behind that are the, is, are the ceramics. Now it was so full of dust we used a compressor to blow all of the dust out and when I tell you it was like a cloud of dust it was terrible. And then we put Rusty's geyser back together and literally now lighting, maybe not the first time, but on the second or third attempt, it lights, it ignites. So um, just if you are, if you have an old Kavango and you haven't serviced your Hansen, it's a good idea to take those plates out and to take a compressor and just blow out the, the dirt off those plates. And also remember, very important to have one of these. So when we bought Rusty, Rusty's geyser didn't have a cover. So we think that's also why a lot of dust got in there. So there's a very good reason to have one of these. So we've had a lot of wind here today. And um, again, it looks like it could rain. Um, and Satara gets very, very muddy. When we arrived, it had been raining for two days beforehand and um, there were some really muddy sites with lying water. So we packed up Rusty's shower this morning and we are going to pack away his awning tonight before we go to bed and then we make our way to Lataba for four nights.